So here we're going to mess with the uh, playback rate feature of the web animations API. Uh, I'm going to create a div. We'll say this an ID of um, playback. That'll work. And inside of here, we're going to have an input for the type of range. It's going to have a min of 0 0.5, a max of, let's say, 7. Just picking something there. And then the step will be 0 0.5. So along this, we'll be able to move 0 0.5 increments at a time. Uh, I want to output that here. So let's see, I'm going to wrap this in a div and then we'll do a little flex box on this guy. So here's the other div and I'll just give this an ID of current, I guess. And I'll go ahead and give this an ID as well. Uh, I'll just call it range because I'm lazy. Let's come up here and we're going to say playback. Oops. And it'll be display flex, uh, center on the justify and align item center. So cool. And let's set this value equal to one. And we'll just drop that in there. Uh, I think we need a color. There we go. Uh, sorry, this is a lot of setup for something so simple. All right, so uh, there, and the idea is that when we move this, this uh, number should change. So let's just set up our event listener, come down here. Uh, what do we call it? I think we just called it range. And event listener on the input. We'll take in the event and then we call that current, I think. And we're going to say, let's kind of get that value off of that. And we'll just say, this is equal to the value. Try that out really quick. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. Okay, so it's updating. And uh, and all we need to do is take our animation and say it's playback rate is equal to, and I'm gonna add a little plus here to make sure that our value, whoops, our value is in fact a number. Save that, let me clean this up. And so we're at one and, oh, I did something wrong. I typoed playback rate. <clears throat> Save that. And now if we go to seven, oh, it's pretty fast. 1.5, two, a little faster. If we come down to half speed, we can see it's playing much slower.